Good evening, and here we are with another cask-aged beer, this one, Jaggery X. I do believe I reviewed a similar beer before, a similar beer, which was called the Glen Farkless Cask-Aged uh, Imperial Stout, which is a similar beer, but this one claims to have blah blah blah, space-side whiskey barrels, blah blah blah, aged in blah blah blah, with blueberry, this is a special edition, it's got blueberry, lots more cold brew coffee, a bonus dose of blueberry, um, and more jaggery sugar, and then aged in sherry whiskey casks. <laughs> Sounds very nice. Sounds very nice indeed. And look at this, look, look how dark, and it's just like black ink. It's literally like somebody's got a big bag of bats and they just squeeze them into a glass. Bloody bats, I'll have no truck with them. <laughs> oh. oh, black velvet, please. That silly song that was dead famous for a while ages ago. This is quality. It's amazing. Whereas the last one was a bit harsh and a bit brutal and a bit. This one is smooth. It's smooth. All the coffee is there. It's really in coffee, roasted coffee is normally quite bitter, but this is malty, but sweet and sticky, a bit like pudding. And I, I don't usually like blueberries in beer because that's just shit. Nobody likes that. But, and this, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's adding a wee bit of pizzazz, a bit of pizzazz to it indeed. So, I mean, it looks like a black cat that's fallen in a black hole and then somebody's kicked it up the arse and said, what are you all about? But anyway, it's a, it's a pretty magnificent brew. Mmm. And it's 12.1 and it doesn't even taste it. It tastes really, it's almost like bourbon. Maybe that's the Cheryl. The Cheryl? Who the fuck Cheryl? All I want to do is have some fun. No, no, not that one. Um, maybe that's the Sherry cask that has been aged in, but it's a very... But it's very, it's quite potent, but it's very, very sweet, sticky, and lovely. And I'm going to enjoy every bit, and I hope you do. Happy Burns Night to you. Chin-chin.